only time having game actually matters. So the only time that game actually matters is when you're escalating for the first time. When it comes to other escalations after that, like, bro, you can just, like, bro, you can just whip it out. <laughs> like, I mean, they'll just whip it out off rip, but, like, I mean, you could whip it out off rip if you're that guy, if you're really that guy. But the only time that having game matters is really the first escalation. Because that's, like, okay, you want to you wanna make sure everything goes well, right? You don't want to have, like, a shitty first time escalation and then just susses the vibes. You want to be normal all the way up until when it comes to the first time that you're escalating. Or maybe even the second time as well. And unless, like, you know, you guys aren't that close, right? The thing is, after that first escalation, after the first time, you know, you hit, you don't really have to do all the, like, charming shit and all the fucking escalation and this. It's pretty easy after that. That's why, like, the first time is like, ah, it's like, great. It's like taking a deposit. It's like, all right, cool. Got a little bit more leverage now. I don't got to be as like i mean you still gotta be professional you know with clients but you don't gotta be as like you know so it's the same thing with girls you can be normal all the way up until the point when it's actually time to escalate that's when having game really matters a lot of guys think oh i gotta be like gamed up rizzed up like ready to rumble like bro it's not wwe smackdown you know it's monday night raw because <laughs> when you really break it down to a molecular level a scientific hypothetical logistical level like game is really just being able to make suggestions in a smooth manner that's what game is being able to be at a restaurant and you know navigate to get towards your house or to her house or whatever the situation is or wherever the destination is it's really just being able to be smooth at making suggestions that's what game is game is not like pick up lines and all that shit that is not what game is that is not game Game is being able to make suggestions smoothly that are going to be able to progress the date forward. That's like, you know, there's so many examples. I can get, there's a million examples of what game is. There's no, you know, there's no such thing as, subject, uh, as objective game. Game is subjective. What works for you might not work for me. I might have some lines that I might use to progress things that are different than yours. Like, for example, if I'm at a restaurant with a girl, I'm going to be like, hey, you know, what do you, what do you got going on after this? Something like that. So, oh, nothing, da, 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 da. especially if you, if you pick her up, if you pick her up, it's really nothing crazy, but it's just a matter of being able to advance things. That's really what break, that's what game is when you really break it down. And if you're picking, the, if you're on the date with the right girl, I, you're not really going to have much time. You're not going to have, you're not going to have a hard time having any issues when it comes to actually advancing or making a suggestion to move forward in the date simple as that you know if if she has different morals than you then maybe but for the most part you know if you're on if, if you're on a date with a girl who's in the same type of time you're on and she really likes you and you can see it like there's no like there really is no resistance and you know i think that leads me to another side side point there's also a such thing as unspoken game so <laughs> Like, the, the, it's not unspoken Riz, though. Not that goofy shit. Like, unspoken game. Where it's like, she kind of mutually, like, you you both mutually understand what's happening, what's going to happen, and words don't really have to be said. Situations that kind of, as an example of this, is like, say you're with a girl, you're in the car, like, you're, you're driving to a spot. You're driving to a nice spot. Whatever, maybe Lakeshore, or it might be some scenic, like, overview of, like, the ocean, or hopefully not a school parking lot you know hopefully we're doing better than that um but just things like that right like that's like unspoken game like you guys both already know what time it is nothing needs to be said it's not like oh, where, where my car no, should, should we should we drive to the to the to the spot like you don't have to do that bro like you know what i'm saying like she knows what time it is obviously if she's not okay with it she'd be like where are we going whatever whatever but at that point you probably picked the date with the wrong girl she just wanted a free dinner or whatever She's just wasting your time, depending on what you're looking to get out of it. I don't know. If you guys want to be pen pals, like, go crazy. That's another type of game as well. Like, obviously, if you're on a dinner date, you're going to have to suggest that, hey, you want to go here after you want to go there. You can't just drive her straight to your house. That's like kidnapping. In that situation, obviously, you know, you're going to want to obviously get her approval. But that's really what game is. I feel like, maybe not me, but I feel like other people might think it's, it's kind of weird to use the same tactic over and over. Bro, you guys already know about the rock, paper, scissors. Like, if you have something that works, what's the point of fixing it? 
If it works on multiple people, what's the point of fixing it? There's no point. Who are you trying to impress? Oh, I want to have the most tactics to escalate possible. Like, there's no rank. There's no leaderboard. You're not going to be in the dating hall of fame because you had 16 uh, escalation tactics that work. Every it doesn't matter. Even if you have one or two that you know work, that's all that matters. You're not, you're not competing. <laughs> you're competing with other men, but you're not competing with other men. Like, who's a better escalator? Like, nobody gives a shit about that. Like, yeah, obviously, we all want to have the top girl or... Well, actually, no, not really, bro. Baddies be just causing headaches. But still, like like I see in my videos, the girl that you want 150 other guys want, but it's not like you're competing with those other 150 guys on who has the most escalation tactics. You can literally use the same. I run the same game every time. And every time it works, I just laugh because I'm like, ah, it just doesn't, doesn't miss, bro. It's like Chipotle double chicken. Like, it just doesn't miss. So that's really the only time that having game matters, bro. It's really a small segment in, in terms of a in terms of a dating process especially like after the first two three times you see a girl whatever you get with her like bro what do you what charming and escalation do you really have to do after that she knows what time it is you know what time it is like bro <laughs> like there was a time where i was seeing this girl and like this was after the first time well this was not the first time i seen her i don't know did i make a story about this i don't know if i made a story about this but Basically, this was like back in 2021, back when I was ugly, ugly as shit. I'm still a little ugly, but I was ugly as shit, right? So I seen this girl the first time. I was like kind of dragging it on for like three years. I, I talked to her back in like high school and like it was like on and off type shit. But um, first time I seen her, didn't really do anything, made out. Still kind of had to escalate that. So that was at that point where I, where I needed to use my game. But then after that, she came over the second time. Bro, literally, I didn't even say a word. <laughs> Did not say a word, just turned the lights off, took her clothes off. That was I, unspoken game, bro. But that's what I'm trying to say is like, after the first time, first, maybe second, first, or maybe, maybe second time, maybe you don't have to like, there's no weird, like, okay, I got to escalate now. Like, it just, it doesn't matter. You don't really have to use that. Like, like I don't have that. You don't need to ask to kiss every time. <laughs> this is literally only the first time. So that's, that's a beautiful thing. That's. The beautiful thing about dating you know the power dynamic really switches after you know there's a lot of just changes when it comes to escalating certain things you don't got to be as like obviously you, you don't don't like fucking like rip her clothes off and shit like you know what i'm saying like slow down some g you know I'm not trying to get you charged out here but basically there's less bs there's less formality when it comes to escalating so just wanted to make that video let you guys know that you know you don't need to be gamed up, got your guard up, ready to figure out what pickup line you're going to say next or what you're going to do next to escalate. Like, it's really not that, it's really not that complicated. Like, <laughs> it's really not, bro. It's like, you never have to reinvent yourself with dating. I feel like um, a lot of guys think that. You don't need to reinvent yourself. Find a system that works. Bro, life's all about systems. Like, for business, money, like, dating, it's all about systems. So, like... Why not make a system that works for you and that's going to get you guaranteed results? Maybe well, not guaranteed, but get, get you consistent results, right? Once you apply that to business, it's like, bro, well, it's the same thing. Everybody in business, you don't just guess escalating. You got to have a plan. <laughs> like, you got you can't just guess it and wing it. Because, like, bro, you, it's, it can go really bad for you if you wing it and things just go wrong. So, make a system that works for you that you know is going to always, not, not always work. Nothing always works 100% of the time. But something you know that's going to work 90% of the time so that you don't have to ever second guess what you're going to do with the girl, right? So that's pretty much all I got to say today. You know, we're, we're, we're playing this shit like chess, bro. Strategical. Logical. You know, even though dating is very emotional, we treat it very strategical around here. Because that's what life is. Life is a strategy. So strategize to win. Peace.